everybody, it's Blue Dougie, and welcome back to another episode of Toy Talk. I'm here with Max, and we got some toy news to share with you guys and pictures. Uh, thanks for being patient. There was just a little bit of a drought after Toy Fair, but I found some cool stuff me and Ducky did. So, thanks for uh, requesting this video, too. First off, we're going to start with Toy Talk shoutouts. I'll go for the first one is Eve Porter. Perfect. Do they showed any Ever After High? Um, I think this is in regards to New the York Toy, Toy Fair. Fair. And I couldn't find and Max couldn't find well, any new... What? All these comments are... These are just to give people the shoutouts. They're all basically asking the same thing. Is Ever After High at Toy Fair. Uh, we would love to have some news for you, but we couldn't find much. Uh, mainly because they're probably focusing on the Monster High, Welcome to Monster High, and then the DC Superhero Girls. But there is Ever After High dolls coming out. We just already knew mostly about them with uh, Epic Winter mm -hmm. and Michelle Mermaid and the other ones. So I think the main focus for Mattel was... Uh, the, the Monster High and the DC Superhero Girls. Yeah, so that was Eve Porter, Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal, Raven is My Life, Elijah Martinez. So thank you guys for your comments on the last Toy Talk. And yeah, that's why we didn't show any Ever After High stuff. And then we have this page of comments for shoutouts too. We have Squirrely Dog. From the change of the Monster High dolls, I used to be one of those angry fans. But seeing they basically made the eyes bigger and decided to go with the zombie bride animation, I'm pretty much happy. Love your vids, by the way. I've been watching for a long time and finally got a YouTube to sub to you guys. So, that's awesome. Thank you. Um... It's a, I think it's interesting that you changed your your mind, which, you know. I, I tried to include two comments that are on both sides of the coin of this Monster High debate. So that, and then there's another comment, and then a the comment below is uh, one that's still not too sure about the uh, Monster High reboot. But. Well, thank you so much for um, subscribing to Squirrely Dog. So do you want to read the next Okay, one? Deborah Estrada, that Legend of Everfree is going to be on Netflix. And we love this type of comment to give a little heads up to all. This is like a community toy talk. So I hope it is on Netflix because I want to see it right, right away along with you guys. Uh, well, if you have Netflix. But the last time we had to go to a, a family member's house to watch uh, the last Equestria Rolls movie. So I would love if they start doing Netflix specials like Ever After High. Mm -hmm. so thanks for the heads up. Yep, thanks for the heads up. Next Toy Talk shout out goes to Raven King. It's really sad the new Monster High dolls. It breaks my heart. I don't really like the new animation for Monster High. It just looks, it just looks bad. Well, great Toy Talk and I'm excited for the Lady Gaga doll. So... Like Max said, we have two different opinions, which we embrace all opinions on Toy Talk and don't judge anybody for liking or not liking something. And yeah, the Lady Gaga doll will be awesome. You plan on getting that one? Yes. <laughs> as soon as we get more photos, we'll, uh, we'll try to include it in Toy Talk too. So you want to read the last one? Okay. Uh, Fabulous Melody. The last that reviewed these toys called Splashlings on her channel. Maybe you could feature them on Toy Talk. Or maybe Ducky could just answer this one. Yeah, <laughs> actually. Um, so we didn't feature them on Toy Talk, but I got a package from Splashlings, and I will be putting that review up on my channel this week. I'm so excited. And I hope you guys like it and uh, watch it. You were pretty excited when you opened the package. They look pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks for your comments. Yep. And... Oh, and all you need to do to get a comment shout out is make a thoughtful comment. 
toy related hopefully or a nice comment down below and we're, we're, we're looking at all your comments to find these so yep okay first of all we're gonna have some Alice in Wonderland doll news and this is gonna cover a couple different brands here but first we're gonna go with the Disney Descendants Wicked World this is the alley alley who's the daughter of Alice and um, I think her doll looks super cute. Is that the one you're looking forward to the most out of Freddy and CJ and Allie? Yeah, I think so because I, I'm always a big fan of Alice in Wonderland. Um, my, my, um, one of my bridal showers was Mad Hatter themed. So, uh, yeah, she looks really cute though, I think. I like the blue streaks in the hair and the braiding. Looks like a pretty cool hairstyle. Is the hair more more uh, detail looks like than the when the previous hairstyles too? Like, yeah, she has like braiding and up in a ponytail, so it looks really good. Hopefully, it looks as good actually in the box because these pictures are probably meticulously s styled. <laughs> but um, here's a close up look at her accessories, her shoes, and her watch. I love her white and blue leggings too. And moving on to the animators collection Alice. And mini set Alice is really cute. Um, although I, I can't, I have to say that I don't like this Alice's face as much as I wish I did. I think it's her, her like her lips look kind of like pushed together. For both or the mini? Um, for both. Okay. Not my favorite animators, but which is sad because she's like one of my favorite well, characters. Well, you've been collecting the mini doll sets. You've switched because they, they you you lose space fast with the big ones. They're very cute. Mm -hmm. But um, first time there's been a villain in the mini doll set. Yeah, this is the Red Queen. I don't Queen know of if Hearts. I particularly like that little figure, but <laughs> it's cool. Queen of Hearts. I think um, maybe I would rather have had like a the tea. caterpillar. Or like a tea party set. Yeah, or something like that. I think would have been cool too. And then the next couple dolls are Alice in Wonderland through the Looking Glass movie dolls yes and this white queen looks so gorgeous i really want her out of these two i really want the white queen more than i want this this particular alice there's another alice that i'm going to show in a second that's amazing that i really want but i think the white queen is gorgeous awesome and this is the alice i really want i think her outfit looks super cool what about the She's cool, but I could pass on her. This Alice and the White Queen are the two that I really want. And then the Mad Hatter. Although, I kind of think he looks a little bit funny. His face looks a little weird to me. I don't know. Maybe it's the hair. It's like not the... It's not like his hair. It's too curly. It's not like a frizzy look, you know? This is the only Mad Hatter doll I could yeah it other than that it's really cool the design of the clothes and everything looks awesome and then they have the little plushies which one's your favorite there of these three funny i have to say i think the white rabbit yeah i don't know i just like the way it looks and then there's the uh queen of hearts and this time guy that It'll be interesting to see what his deal is in the movie. And then we have the Alice Through the Looking Glass mystery minis, which they all look spectacular. And they're going to have the Pocket Pops, too. This Mad Hatter looks drained of all color, so that's interesting. And the Cheshire Cat. Really cute. Can't wait. Uh, here's some Zelfs. Uh, 
just to give another quick view, I think there will be some Zelf reviews coming soon, just to give you guys a heads up. Yeah. Uh, this is, much, I think, a much better look than the last pictures that we had were really, really blurry. Look at blurry. the ultra rare. Yeah, it's a carousel. Centaur carousel horse. I like so her. I don't cute. think she's my favorite, though. I kind of have to agree with you. No, I think I my my favorite one is still Pharaoh. Out of all of them. Out of these ones here, I like Howley and mm -hmm. the genie one. Yeah, her tail is pretty cool. What are your guys' favorites in these? Actually, I think she's like a ghost. Oh, okay. Not a genie. What are your favorites, Ducky and viewers? Mm, I think still the the angel angel hop is still and the rain doe i think those two but i i kind of like peekaboo too Ugh, i like them all <laughs> next up uh is um rock candy barbie figures i thought these were really cute and um just assortment of different characters beyond this the reason i'm more excited is i love mattel for doing their vinyl and their Monster High minis, mm -hmm. but if they're gonna go with Barbie, why not Monster High Ever After High Funko? I mean, they're collaborating here. Oh, you think yeah? it's necessary? I mean, there's there's a lot of toy companies that do their own thing and then they still partner with Funko. So I'm I'm holding out hopes for it. We'll see. Would you Would you like to see that too? Would yeah, you guys viewers? Of course. Want? And next up are some pictures of the Sweet Style Brats, mm -hmm. which, again, I have a review coming this week that involves one of the dolls and the playset. But I thought these were really cute. They come with little pets and accessories. Here's another look. It's pretty comparable to Monster High Sweet Screams. Like, it comes with a little cute pet that's... Yeah, but those were kind of scary, too. These are just cute. Look at the packages. Here's the big news. Yep. Uh, for the next Monster High Amazon exclusive is going to be Skeleta. Look how awesome she looks. They really went all out with her dress and headset. Headset, I mean head headpiece, and the really cool stand for her, and some up close detail shots. Now this is, I think this is an important doll, because there's a lot of both sides to the Monster High reboot. Mm -hmm. But if they're willing to do this, I hope it sells well. So if you guys really want uh, these characters, the not the main characters and you want it to continue, please, I, I think you're going to get this doll. Yeah, definitely. Please support releases like this, like, uh... The Collectors? The Draculara, and then some of the, like, that Cupid, Heartstruck. Yeah. And then, what was another doll that they put a little extra effort into that's more towards adults? The, the, the Apple White, the Royal. Yeah, so... These kinds of releases, I think, are very important if you think that Mattel's steering towards younger and more budget line. Mm -hmm. So that's why these are so. The, that's why we're covering these. It's so important, I think, this release. Yeah. Next up is some um, uh, Funko pictures. There's uh, the My Mojis, which are like l blind bags. Uh, they have. This one, the My Little Pony one, and then there's also some pops on this page for you guys to look at. I am so excited for the My Emoji because you get to use it on your phone too with the digital code. That's great. Yeah. You have a physical and a digital in the back. I'm going to be collecting these like crazy. I like the My Little Pony ones. I like the Minion ones. And oh, you passed the uh... what? The Stay Puffed Fabrication. I literally like that one. Oh, yeah. He's really cute, too. And they just released the trailer for the new Ghostbusters. Oh, what would you think of the trailer? I thought it was really funny. I enjoyed it. But I know there's a lot of hate on it right now. Well, this is how me and Ducky are about the movies. 
we go to movies to enjoy it. Don't criticize everything. Just go for the experience and see if you like it. Yeah. They're comparing it too much to the original. Mm -hmm. Just go and have some fun. That's what I say. And they also have the DC Mymojis. I definitely want those Harlequins and Joker. And they all just look so adorable. And then there are some Pocket Pops here. And then they have the Ninja Turtles. Are you going to be collecting these for your phone? I, I might, yes. Do you want Ninja Turtle emojis? Yes. <laughs> and also, there are some Shrek Pops. I want Dronky. <laughs> Dronky Pop. <laughs> Do you have some information on these pictures? Uh, I think these are made by Kid Robot. Mm-hmm. The Funko, that's their biggest rival competitor. They're starting to get into more things like plushies and stuff. I think they're cool. I wouldn't know. I don't think I necessarily would get any of these. Uh, I'm maybe one. Maybe Deadpool. Yeah. The Though Deadpool I... one looks looks the coolest. <laughs> yeah. Or Spider Man. I like the ones that have like you can't actually see the face because uh, I'm not too big on their facial style. And then we have. The rock candy uh, superheroes, super girls, not girls, but you know, female superheroes. And some other pops for Overwatch. That's a new video game coming out. Huh, looks pretty neat. Here's what I'm so excited about. Disney Infinity 3.0? Well, these are some of the final characters released for Disney 3.0 for the Disney Infinity Marvel Battlegrounds playset, Ant-Man. Uh, I think it would have been really cool if they would have put... Wait, you're passing it up too quick. <laughs> if they would have made this, the bottom base regular size and then Ant-Man really small in the package. I don't know. Yeah. Just And then you put, put it on the stand and we're like, where's the character? This little character. Oh. I don't know. I might be alone there. Yeah, I, I like regular size, I think. And here's the Marvel Battleground set, which we've shown a couple oh, times. Oh, this one you can pre-order on Toys R Us for $19.99, which is a good price for a play set. And it comes out, I think all of these are coming out towards March 15th. Black Panther looks awesome. And some of these were on the Disney Store website, so I don't know if you have to get them there first. I'm not sure how the release is, if it's going to be a Toys R Us or Disney Store. And then we have Blue and Judy and Nick Wild from Disney Infinity. Looking awesome. And then we have a Vision one. And Boba Fett was released in a, a PlayStation 4 starter set, but now he's going to be released as a single character. Cool. And then moving on to Skylanders. There are some spring releases of Excited Thrillipede. They usually have spring edition Skylanders for all the previous series, too. Yeah, and Springhead Dive Bomber. And then we have these lighted up blue Skylander Supercharger characters. There's Power, Power Blue Trigger Happy. So the whole character lights up, I'm assuming? On the base. No, lighted lighted up blue is um, I think it's for autism. Oh, okay. And then we have the power blue splat, which I think she looks awesome. Power blue gold rusher. Power blue splatter splasher. <laughs> And then some Squishable news. We're going to start covering Squishables. Ducky still doesn't know which ones I got her, but we're going to show some new ones that are coming out. All I hope is that you got me that sheep acorn Because that sheep with a unicorn is like the cutest Squishable I've ever seen. Okay. Maybe. You'll I'll have, have to, to... I'll have to see. You'll have to find out, and if you, you guys will have to tune in, I guess, to the next Squishables. But that one's on, not released yet. Oh, okay. And then we have a, a 
adorable ice cream cone with the rainbow sprinkles. Now that one sold out, but then it was back up on the website. So I don't know if there's many left. If you're looking for it, go quick. <laughs> and this cute little bee. I like that one. And then we have some Star Wars Tsum Tsums. I like this picture with the three Chewies in different sizes. I thought that was adorable. Those Vinylmation look cool. Yeah. Rocketeer. Like uh, I... Jack Sparrow. Mm. Tron. The only one I really want out of this one is the Rocketeer. Does it say what their the series is called, though? I know they're... Uh -uh. It doesn't say. Well, it might, but I can't read that. It's so small. I forget what it, they're called, but they're basically heroes from all live-action movies, I think. And then we have some Mickey Mouse Club Vinylmations, all black and white. Cool. And some of More the... More spring toys. Plushies from Disney Store. I like the Eeyores. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And then they're going to be coming out with Jungle Book movie plushies. The live action 2016 movie plushies. Which, do you like any of these? Um, I like the Black Panther. I like the wolf. Like, the problem to me is, ex except for the, the orangutan, I, even including the orangutan, these just look like... Regular, plushies you would see regular, at the zoo. Zoo. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't, like, scream jungle book to me. They're t maybe... I don't know. They're I don't know why. High quality, but a little generic looking, but they're going except for... for except for Sheer Khan, who has a, a blind eye. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's a pearl. Oh, these are just some random Disney Store blind bags. I haven't seen these. I think you might have to buy them online. No, well, this... Well, they, they start have Disney Park stuff on the DisneyStore.com. Yeah, but, I mean, if we go into the Disney Store, we're probably not going to find the Star Wars one, because that one's well, for Disney Parks. I was hoping for Lion Guard, though. The Lion Guard, I think it, we can find them at, like, Toys R Us or Target. Okay, we still have to watch that show. Have, have any of you viewers watched The Line Guard, and what do you think? And for some Once Upon a Zombie news, they released this picture. Yeah, it, it, I'm so... We're anticipating the Once Upon a Zombie dolls coming back. Uh, they keep posting on their Facebook, but no firm dates yet. It just says this is coming next year. Uh, I can't wait. That looks like a cool one. If they do it good, it'll be really cool. With the this, fur. This is definitely a good character to do the jump start of bringing them back on the market. Because you know people like Snow Queen and Elsa. Mm -hmm. And this is their version. They gave her a side braid too. Oh yeah. So, next for this little segment called Ducky Radar. And some books, game shows, and movie recommendations. And my two show recommendations, um, Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. I I think except for the last last two episodes, I've seen them all. And I love that show. And it's so much fun to watch. And then this next one is The Gravity Falls, which I know I'm like so behind. And that the show, the series has ended... But I just recently started watching it, and I kind of like that because then I can just watch all the series all together, and I don't have to wait for next year or anything. Um, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm still on, I think I'm like episode 10 around there on season one, so no spoilers, please. If you guys have any recommendations of some good shows, books, movies, and you want to comment below too, we'd like to read them. Mm -hmm. And also on my radar is Grumpy Bear, the Care Bear from Build the Bear. I got him in the mail, and he is so soft and cute, and he's my favorite Care Bear from Build the Bear now. 
And also the Ariel Princess uh, limited edition set. I think is really cute. And then we have the superhero bears. We got um, Batman bear, Wonder Woman, and the Superman bear. I'm slightly disappointed. They look cool, but I think Wonder Woman, they, much more effort went into her design. She is my favorite out of the three. I'm, I'm not, not big on just like... Posting the yeah. logo all over the bear. Exactly. I like when they put on their foot. She still has, like, stars on her. She has a design, but... They could have made Superman with, like, one of the Build-A-Bear wigs oh. with, with a little curly Q. <laughs> that would have been curly so Curly Q in the cute. front. Yeah, that would have been really cute. And that goes into my hidden gems, which are some good deals that I think I've found online. And with hidden gems, it's, of course subject to like availability and the deals don't last forever so anyway for the build-a-bear outlet they have some sales these are on buildabear.com uh though those two on the left were for the valentine's day but i think they are scented and mm -hmm. they're only 16 dollars now mm -hmm. and then the one on the right is a very good deal i think he looks pretty cute and there's very limited it says on the website limited availability so there's only a few left i think any seven dollars and also on hot topic there was this uh this stitch purse which i am thinking about getting because it is so adorable now that cute. price there is 20 percent off right now yeah it's 3160 now because it's 20 percent off so i don't know how long that'll last if you're thinking about it might be a good time to get it and also on the walmart website uh there's the skylanders giants four new figures for 664 which is if you know of someone that likes skylanders and they need some elements these work in all the new games mm -hmm. they're pretty cool characters and i think they have the light up feature because they were gi in giants that was one of the things yeah they put them on the base so it's just a good deal May not be there long. Yeah, there's six sixty four each, not all four together. No, all four together. All four together? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So you get all four of those new. That is a really good deal. Anyway, that wraps it up for this Toy Talk. Oh yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please thumbs this video up. Thanks for all your support. And we'll see you guys later. And if you're a new viewer, please hit that subscribe button. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.